Any educator here. I want to do a quick review of the ET300 series. And this is the one with the finger kick. You can see how it fits on your hand. Um, do it like this. I'll explain it here in just a second. But this is the collar, and this is the long tips that came with it. This is where you charge it. Also makes it waterproof so you can close it. I switched out the collar. I got one of the custom ones that can clip as a bungee. Um, but this is the collar that comes with it. Three quarter of an inch. So if you wanted to swap it out with a different one, you just can order the three, collar, three quarter inch and then uh, it just slides through the front. Gives you an idea. Some people use the bungees. Um, this one works pretty good. I have some bungees as well. The cool thing about the finger kick version is uh, you can put this in your pocket or your treat pouch and uh, whatever you put the setting on, all you do is click the button. So uh, if you want to make a video and nobody sees you carrying this big thing around or it's a little bit klutzy while you're training, you can still hold a clicker in your hand. You can put this on your pinky, whatever part of your hand you want, and just click it, tap it. So it makes it nice for videos and training. Um, it also comes with this lanyard that just clips on the back. So uh, if you get the non-finger version, lots of times I'll just hang around my neck while I'm training and it gives you like that extra option. But uh, this is my favorite e-collar. Uh, it's the one I use on all my dogs. I've had lots of other brands, but the Mini Educator is the one that I recommend.